later in this video. Whoa, what just happened? Where are we? My dating show, Mal. Your dating show? But Ben, we are dating. No, Mal, we're broken up. Oh my gosh, Evie, I am so stressed about this math test. I mean, I would much rather be learning spells, not advanced multiplication. I'm actually not so bad at math. You'd be surprised, there's actually a lot of math involved in fashion design. I just miss being at Starlight. Those are the classes I really want to be taking. I know, same, but this is where we belong. Helping the people of Oridon and the people of the Isle of the Lost come together. You're totally right. Oh, speaking of, guess who just texted me? Who? Belle. Oh, wow. Does she know about Ben or him about her yet? No, not at all. I mean, Fairy Godmother already doesn't think it's a great idea that everyone at Starlight knows we're from the future, but Anna kind of let it slip to everybody. What did Belle say? It's pretty crazy that we can text between time dimensions, right? It's this app that Belle designed, so cool. But anyway, she said, be careful, the Chaos Crew is up to no good again. Oh, great, those guys again. Or girls or whoever they are. Seriously, I'm telling her we'll be on the lookout. Okay, time to hit these books. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, look, this is getting so confusing. You're from the past calling me from the future, but then me from the past is there and you from the future is, I'm just confused. Look, I need you to keep everyone at Oridon distracted. I don't want anything to interfere with my plans here at Starlight. Well, that's a little hard because um, here in the future, we're stuck on the aisle. We'll figure it out, but I need them to not get in the way here. Ugh, okay, fine. Okay, who can I call at that school to help me out? <gasps> I know, just the girl. Hello, Audrey. Mel. Have you seen this? What is it? It's a flyer for a dating show. Apparently Oridon is hosting this giant dating game. Weird, that's the first I'm hearing about it. I'll have to ask Ben and see what he knows. Same, I mean, obviously I'm with Doug, so I'm not going to compete or anything, but I mean, maybe we could go and like sit in the audience or something. Totally. I wonder who's hosting it. Okay, I passed out the flyers for the dating show, but why should I help you? Look, I can't tell you everything. But, this is bigger than us. This could change everything. Are you working with that chaos crew again? No, I'm working with someone else. And you can't tell me. So I did your little flyer thing, why should I help you anymore? Because, what if I can guarantee that by helping, you end up with your sweet little Benny Boo? I'm listening. Yeah, I don't know anything about this, Mal. It must have been something mom and dad set up. Who knows? So strange. All I know is I think I'm gonna compete. Uh, Jay, you are? Yeah, you know, I mean, everybody else is coupled up. Maybe it's time for me to find someone. Oh, I wonder if Lonnie's going to be going. Lonnie? No, we're just fencing teammates. That's it. Uh-oh, sure, Jay. Well, I think it's actually about to start. It was so weird on the flyer. There were no instructions about where to go or where to enter as an audience member. So strange. Let's go. Don't want to be late for the future, Mrs. J. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Feels so good to finally be off that aisle. Okay, I got you off the aisle now. When do I finally get to get back with Ben? Have a little patience, Audrey. All right, time to do a little magic to make this dating show happen. Everyone should be in the gym now. Here it goes. Don't you need to say some kind of sing-songy rhyme to make it work? Not with this one. It's a mental spell. Well, what did you do? I put a spell on Ben to alter his mind and make him think he's single and the next bachelor. He thinks all the girls want to compete for his hand, and they do. But the ones that get to are Mal, Evie, and you. What? I still have to compete? This wasn't part of our deal. Oh, please. The host knows that you're the one that's supposed to win. <sighs> he better. Well, time for you to go win his heart. Ta-ta! 
The eagle is in the nest. Or is it the eagle has landed? The eagle is an eagle. Mal and her friends are definitely occupied and not at all thinking about starlight. Hello world, it's your favorite host, Just A Minute, and we're here to follow Ben's journey to love. Everyone say hello to the most eligible bachelor, King Ben! Whoa, what just happened? Where are we? My dating show, Mal. Your dating show? But Ben, we're dating. No, Mal, we're broken up. What? For now, unless you can win my heart. That's right! Now, Mal, what are you doing here? You should be getting ready with all of the other ladies to try to win Ben's heart. <laughs> There she goes! <laughs> now tell me, Mr. Bachelor, what are you looking for in Mrs. King Ben? Hmm, I want someone like, well, Mal. Purple hair, bad turn good, heart of gold. Wait, why am I here? Why don't I just date Mal? Oh no, spell's wearing off. Uh, ben, you want to date someone that knows what it means to be King Ben. <laughs> you want to find your queen. Yeah, you're right, that's what I want. <laughs> I know. Now it's time to meet the lovely ladies who are competing for your heart. What in the world? What is going on? Evie, do you know what's happening? All I know is I'm trying to become Mrs. King Ben. What? Oh no, you're under some kind of spell. But it didn't affect me. This has my mom written all over it. What's wrong, Mal? Scared I'm going to win Ben back? Audrey! Did you have something to do with this? Why don't you focus on playing the game? But be careful. I've known Ben for longer than you, and I know what he's looking for. <laughs> Mrs. King Ben. Ew, why does everyone keep saying that? That is not how last names work. Bachelorette number one, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Ben. First of all, I just want to say I'm so excited to be here. A little bit about me. I love the color pink. I'm already a queen. I'm the queen of meaning full things like love and adoration for you. Oh, how sweet! <laughs> she sounds like a great choice, huh? <laughs> all right, bachelorette number two, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, first of all, I think you look great in the color blue. It's my favorite color, too. And a little bit about me, I love fashion. I love cute outfits, I love beautiful dresses, purses, shoes, and let's just say I'm going to purse shoe you with all I've got. Oh, oh, funny and competitive. <laughs> and bachelorette number three. I'm. Wait, what? what? Why is there nothing coming out? I'm. Oh, if you're trying to say your name, that's against the rules. Now try describing yourself, huh? <laughs> I have purple hair, I have magical powers, and I'm your girlfriend. Oh, looks like somebody thinks they already got this in the bag. All right, then, do you know the first question that you want to ask? Yes. All right, ladies, if you were going to take me on a date, where would you take me? Let's start with you, Bachelorette number two. Well, I would fly you to New York for Fashion Week, and then I would surprise you that you get to be the model for my line on the runway. Oh, wow, that's exciting. What about you, Bachelorette number one? I would take you to a ball where we could dance the night away like royals, because, you know, we're both royals. Oh, that sounds fun. Bachelorette number three? I would take you for a picnic where we would have strawberries and then go swimming in the Enchanted Lake. That sounds familiar. Wow, we That sounds like three super fun dates. <laughs> I'm leaning towards Bachelorette number one, if you're asking me. I'm so confused. Where did everyone go? I thought we were going to go together. Hey, I got the popcorn, you guys. Wait, is the game show going on? And the door is locked? And there's no audience in there. And Ben is up there with Mal and Evie and Audrey. Oh no, something is up. I gotta figure this out. All right, and we're back from our commercial break. Now, Ben, our bachelor, everybody wants to know, how are you feeling right now? I don't know, Chester, this is really tough, but you know, there's just something about bachelorette number three. I think you may have gotten him confused, Ben. I think you're interested in bachelorette number one. <laughs> am I right? I am? Oh. Maybe I am. But you got two more questions left to ask. And remember, at the end, you gotta marry the girl you choose. Wait, what? 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, think, Jay, think. Fix this. All right, Ben, we're on pins and needles here. <laughs> am I right? What is your next question? Okay, bachelorette number one, what is your favorite season? 
I like summer because then you and I could go on long walks on the beach, basking in the warm sun, hand in hand, ruling our kingdom together. Oh, what a great answer. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. I actually like winter because I am a winter and winter is when fashion week occurs. Oh, I know you're like a stylish lady, Ben. <laughs> My favorite season is pepper. Get it? Oh, like a seasoning. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, she didn't really answer the question. Uh, that wasn't all that great, okay? Anyway. Hey! Okay, last question, Ben. This will determine your bride. I, I don't know if I'm ready for... Oh, of course you are, Ben. <laughs> now, what's that last question gonna be? <laughs> OMG, Jay! Yes, Jay, I think there is a spell on this dating game. Ben and Evie are acting really weird and Audrey's... Well, she's acting like Audrey. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I think it's your mom. Oh, I knew it. You have to get to Ben and break the spell with true love's kiss. Okay, can you cause a distraction? <sighs> okay, I think I've decided on my last question. Go ahead, Ben. The floor is yours. <laughs> okay, the last question is, what are you looking for in a boyfriend? Because I don't just want someone who's right for me. I want to be right for you too. Oh, ah, Ben, a heart of gold. Am I right, folks? <laughs> I'm looking for the king to my queen. Someone handsome, someone royal, and just you, Ben. Okay, okay, I gotta stop you right there because I gotta say, I think bachelorette number one is a thief. What? Because I think that she has stolen your heart, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, maybe. I'm looking for someone to be my partner. No matter what we do in life, we're in it together. My Doug. Okay, I'm sorry. Your what? <laughs> You're gonna have to teach me how to Dougie because I don't understand that answer. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said that. I mean, my partner. Bachelorette number three? I'm looking for someone who puts others before themselves, who doesn't judge a book by its cover, someone who believes in second chances and taking risks. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Ben, Bachelorette number one obviously had the best answer. Whoa, it worked! Yo, game show host, the name's Jay. But regardless, we're shutting this game show down now. What? Who are you? Um. Uh, guards? 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 You have guards? Nah, you're bluffing, dude. You don't have guards. We totally have guards. And, and, and they're cut. Now's my chance. Right now. Okay, guards? hopefully my magic guards? can break through my mom's. Mal, were you bachelorette number three? Ben, it's me. And maybe this will help you remember. Okay, look. What? Wait, what, what's happening? What is this? What's going on? No, 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 no. What's happening? What's going on? Ben, you were under a spell for my mom to play this dating game, and I think they were trying to have you end up with Audrey. Ugh! I should have known Maleficent would put a plan in place that would fall apart because of something dumb like True Love's Kiss. I'm out of here. Oh, uh, well, uh, looks like Ben found his girl. <laughs> I gotta go. What? No! Ugh. Well, hopefully that distracted them long enough so she could do what she wanted to at Starlight. Oh no, Audrey's calling. Send to voicemail. That was so weird. Why was your mom working with Audrey? Who knows, but Be I mean, our friends at Starlight had messaged us that the Chaos Crew is up to something there. Maybe we should go back to Starlight and help. I can come too. No, Ben, you should stay here and make sure everything's okay. Wait, you guys, where's Evie? Wait a second, she's gone! Oh no, this can't be good! Besties, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can follow along and help us try to find Evie. Where do you all think she is? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you like this video and let us know if you're one of our... B. F. F. Besties! We have to find Evie, you guys. Don't worry, Mal. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Looks just like a city of blinding lights